Hi guys, welcome and thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to be talking about Zadig and Voltaire and we're going to be comparing these two. This is called This Is Her and this is called Just a Rock. Now I have a video on my channel about This Is Her version and you can go and watch that one and see my opinion about it. And I decided to get the Just Rock version. By the way, you guys, look at this gorgeous bottle. It's white and gold and it's matte. Whereas this one, it looks like this. And to be honest, I prefer this bottle more. So yeah, I think it's actually prettier. Now, you guys, so in my last video, I said that I am not crazy about This Is Her version. Um, there's chestnut in here. You know, I thought that that chestnut note was like very irritating and I don't know, this was just like too milky and there was something about it that I just didn't really like. Like, it's an okay fragrance. It's vanilla, it's sweet, there's sandalwood in here, there's chestnut and it smells very milky and creamy and chestnutty and that sandalwood is definitely prominent it's kind of different um the sandalwood that's in here comparing to other fragrances in my opinion it's very like strong and musky i don't know what it is so it's still not my favorite and it's been sitting in my closet to be honest but the performance is absolutely amazing it stays unclosed forever i did mention this in my other video um, I spray this on my romper and I put the romper in the closet. You guys, my whole closet smelled like this fragrance and I absolutely hated it. I like could not stand opening my closet. I was so mad. I was like, oh, oh my God, it stinks. I hate it. And yeah, I didn't wear it for a long time, for like a month or something. Um, but yeah, I'm not crazy about this one. Now let's talk about the Just Rock version. So you guys, they basically smell identical, okay? Like I'm gonna compare these two bottles right now side by side and you guys, they basically smell identical. Both of them have that same um, DNA that Zadik and Voltaire has. It's just, this one doesn't have the chestnut note in here and there's patchouli and there's tuberose in here. Um, even though the note structure is different, they smell identical almost, but here's the difference. Now, I thought that I didn't like the chestnut note in here and I still don't, but I also don't really like the sandalwood that's in here. It's too strong and it's very musky. Now, I feel like the Just Rock version is more subtle and it's creamier. Like this one is just extra milky. Like it's so milky to the point that it's nauseating. Whereas this one, it's milky, but it's not nauseating. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. This one's just more like bubble gum. So because of that tuberose that's in here, it smells a little bit like bubble gum in the opening. It smells very milky and creamy and bubble gum like. And then it settles down into this like sandalwood patchouli scent that's still very vanillic and creamy and milky and very sweet. But um, now somebody asked me in the comments, you know, like, what is the difference? Like, how can they smell the same if this one has patchouli? Now, there is patchouli in here, but there's not a lot of it. So it doesn't smell earthy or gothic or anything like that. It smells a little bit heavier and just, just a little bit darker comparing to this one. This one's just more sweet and sugary. And I feel like because it has patchouli in here and it has that tuberose, it smells better. Now the tuberose is very like subtle and creamy and milky. It kind of reminds me of the Love Tuberose from Amouage. But yeah, to be honest, I prefer this version more. And again, the performance is great. The lasting power is great. It stays on clothes forever. It stays on your skin like the whole day. And for the price, you guys, I think it's an amazing fragrance. 
I'm not gonna lie I think it's beautiful it's just I feel like not everybody likes the sandalwood that's in here people say it's too strong and musky I don't know some people smell something stinky in here and I see where they're coming from it's definitely the sandalwood and the musk I think that musk is not one of the notes actually but I definitely smell it in here kind of smells a little bit sweaty animalic I don't know I think the chestnut note and the sandalwood that's irritating me in here but as you can see I'm not getting rid of this fragrance it's still sitting in my closet and to be honest I haven't used it in a while but I feel like I will and yeah I don't know I'm not planning on getting rid of this fragrance and I have this in 100 ml this is a tester bottle and I think it's very pretty and I love it now this is obviously a lot better in my opinion and the bottle is just very very pretty gorgeous 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 this is like again a tuberose bubble gum with patchouli milk cream sugar and vanilla love it you guys i absolutely love it now if you still haven't tried the just rock version i suggest that you should if you don't like this fragrance you might like this one now i know that it's actually pretty hard to find this version and you guys I don't know I'll try to find links for it but if I'm not gonna be able to you'll have to do your own research but yeah like I said once it's in stock somewhere it sells out fast like crazy so yeah overall just love these two I'm gonna keep them in my perfume collection so yeah thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think i know that a lot of you are very like curious about these two and you guys always ask me like how do they compare how do they smell alike if this one has patchouli and there's tuberose and blah 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 blah, blah. you know so yeah let me know what you think and let me know if you have both of these fragrances and which one is your favorite thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye